Alright, this is a uh, 2008 Jaguar XJR. Uh, just redid the uh, intake elbow and uh, had the whole supercharger off of it and everything. Uh, I'm hearing why I think it's a vacuum leak. Uh, no codes on the car. Uh, but I can't find uh, the vacuum leak with my uh, water spray bottle. Um, but this might be a clue. I've got my scan tool here and my uh, short term fuel trim. Let me see if I can get this focused for you guys. Okay, my uh, short term fuel trim for uh, O2 S11 is about twice as high as any of my other short term fuel trims. Uh, let's go up here in the uh, scan tool data. Both are in closed loop. And once again, we're seeing the short term fuel trim one is about six, and the short term fuel trim two is usually about three. So I'm wondering if one side of the engine has a vacuum leak and is causing that short term fuel trim to be uh, higher. My long-term fuel trim is the same. They're, they're at focused. Uh, same for both. So, looking for advice.